crocodiles of Crocodilopolis were tame. I do not know what happened. Petsuchos has never attacked anyone before. His eyes turned red. Did you see? Is Sobek displeased with us? Nick. Even the gods turn their backs on the people. Where is Petsuchos now? Our priest Sehetep took the god back to the pool inside the temple. I have never seen him like this. Something about this is not right. I should take a look at the crocodile's enclosure. Game on you! sign of the priest. But Sutros looks agitated. I should try to stay unnoticed. Someone was injured in the enclosure. They went up the staircase. smelling liquid. Ah, the stench burns my eyes. Ah, Nick. Guarded priest robe, and it is covered in blood. Whoever was wearing this was badly injured. The blood trail leads outside. Mauled by crocodiles. What was he doing back here? This was the man who poisoned the crocodiles. He was taking orders from Melina, the hibiscus. Pretty name for a killer. She's at the Neorian naval arsenal, to the south. Who dares touch a god of Egypt? I will hunt down this blasphemer.
Stop you! Right this is the place. The hibiscus should be somewhere nearby. A woman amongst Ptolemy's soldiers should not be hard to find. That has got to be her. A purple dress. <laughs> Just like the hibiscus flower. at the temple. Gods, what is it with priests and money? Poison was just for show. At least the temple crocodiles are not going to die. I should tell the guardian. of Sobek. The sickness was not an omen from the gods. Your crocodiles were poisoned, but they will recover. Poisoned? Are you sure? By whom? They will pay with their lives. Your own priest, Sehetep, was responsible. He's trying to increase offerings from your followers. What? Sehetep is Sobek's right hand. He will never do this. What you are saying is blasphemy. Ah, you priests. Forever holding to your superstitions. You have been told the truth. The gods themselves will judge what you do with it. Butchat Sobeks in Glocodilopolis. Gods, this is an illegal tannery. These mummies are sloppy work. This is the foulest blasphemy. The mummies are stuffed with gold and valuables. Where are they taking them? There are shipping consignment markings on them. That is a lot of gold. Someone is making a big profit from this sacrilege.
hung out to dry like rags. No wonder the place is locked tight. Hiding the murder of gods. Crocodiles are being slaughtered and mummified. The work is sloppy and careless. This is sacrilege beyond imagining. The mummies are used as coin sacks and stacked like packages. They are using the bodies of murdered gods for smuggling. Hamun. The smell alone turns my stomach. Those who do this deserve death. How can this be happening in Egypt? By the gods. It must be stopped. I need to find where the mummies are being shipped. This tannery must have a dock nearby. I don't want to do Someone this, is in trouble. Thank you, Magi. My life is spared, but it seems much that is good is already dead. I saw the tannery and the mummies. I know what they are doing to Sobek's children. So you have seen it? Do us, Sobek, it is unthinkable. I am Paddy Aset. I serve in the temple south of the city. Forgive me. I must return. I need to pray for guidance. This is going to take more than prayer, priest. We need to act. The mummies had markings on them. I think they are being moved by ship. Ship? The cult has a trireme. It follows trade routes south of the city. Do what you must, Magi. I will pray for you. But please risk no more bloodshed. Bloodshed comes whether we risk it or not. I should search for the ship's manifest. <laughs> Offerings must be increasing. They can't stuff much more into their little bodies. Isn't what we are doing sacrilege, though? I cannot believe this is what that priest would want. Wealth means expansion for the temple and money for us. Sobek's influence is spreading. Isn't that the point? True. We all benefit. Ah, leave the moral questions for the priests.
This is the Trireme Stranding Camp. The information I need is probably in the captain's tent. Correspondence between the captain and Sehetep. Sehetep again? That poisonous priest from the northern temple is becoming a big problem. I should let Padia Seth know about Sehetep. He is not going to like it. Hey! May you walk in the land of... By the gods! What has happened? Medjai! You are late. Sehetep's men came to kill me. So I see. Not bad for a priest to abhors bloodshed. I was not always a priest. I thought I had escaped all this. Sehetep and I found faith together. Joined the temple together. I knew his struggle, just as I did. I have to stop him now. You cannot be seen to move against him. Not if the cult is to survive. A priest killing a priest looks bad. I should do this. You are right. You will find him at the Northern Temple. I will meet you outside. Now! Oh, there you are! Trouble! There he is! For That is the meddling Magi! Cut him off! Flank him! You are on the wrong side of Sobek, traveler! And in the wrong place! We are the future here! You should not have met us!
The main temple of Sobek. Sehetep is inside. You will be well guarded. Badia said has gained the help of a strong ally. The Medjai Gure, who is he? He is not from Fayu, a rogue traveler by all reports. One of the old kingdom, some say. The old kingdom is dead. I don't care who he is. I will feed his infidel carcass to Petsu. to treachery far too often, it seems. I should meet Padiaset. Ejai will succeed. Yes. He is a stranger, yet so... Etep chose death. Then it had to be. I lost a brother today. If I had acted sooner, he might have been restored. Faith cannot be passive. This is my lesson. We will rebuild what has been damaged. But what of the soldiers? They had a hand in all this. They will always meddle. But stay strong. They know now not to mess with the temple. Sobek has warriors too. You honor me, Magi. May Sobek honor you. Naros, you old grain bag. Your days are over. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got enough left for you. You are slow and weak. You can barely punch. Bones will break next time. Oh. <coughs> Hello, ground. Hey, get off him! Leave him alone! Who are you? You want some too? Okay, come on then, hero. You? you are going to lay into me with the insults too? Youth is a state of mind, boy. The gods do not get old. But thanks for the help. It is good to have a brawling brother. You have an unusual fighting style. I like a surprise strategy involving well placed scars and internal bruising. I have been fighting a long time. I was a champion when you were still on the tit. I have to fight. What do you mean? Are you in some kind of trouble? Trouble? So, I make money from street fighting. Not everyone can afford the Gallic brothers in the arena. I give them a taste of it out here. It is a living if you can win some. But if I had not come along... It would have been another loss. 
It is cruel what age does to you. Hades, I miss the arena. <laughs> I used to be good. I was Pompey's favorite for a time. Fighting out here feeds a man, but there is no glory in it. Nothing beats the screams of 30,000 bloodthirsty fans. One thing the arena I for talent, and you've got it. With some pointers, you would look the part. Why don't you take the next fight? I have had a few losses. I could use the rest. On one condition, old man. After this contract, you find another job. You have... All right, this is it. Do not underestimate him. Keep your hands up. You are dropping. Let me know when you are ready. Does the old melon come to collect another beating? Always the disrespect. It is going to bring you bad fate one day. Youth is a state of mind. Today I have got something special for you. Oh, look! Grandpa brought a second. Come on then, pretty boy. Let us see what you've got. I did not agree to this! Cheating, old man! I am done! Who is the coward now, you little prick? Come back and finish the fight! That was good work! A fine start! Almost worthy of the arena! What is your name, son? Bayek of Siwa. Hmm, not really a fighter's name, though, is it? We will want something more memorable, like the C1 Pretty Boy. We can talk about that later. Training first. Training? Hey, listen, old man. The next fight is tonight. Let us meet at sundown, say, at the top of the lighthouse. Take some time to rest, analyze your performance, fight with extreme car, be a god, and do not forget, the top of the lighthouse at sundown. Sky. It is nice up here. But where is that old fool? He is late. Bayek, down here. Why are you down there? You said to meet up here. Curry, come down! We have got a fight to get to! Why did you send me to the top of the lighthouse? I have something to say to you. Hilarus is serious now. Students do not question their teachers. Hey, old Tomato, you are not my teacher. I love that lighthouse. Lost my virginity there. I wanted you to see it. Time is good for the lungs. Your reward was the view. It was worth it, don't you agree? It was, actually. It is nice to take the time to realize how beautiful the world is. You see? There is always method in my madness, Bayek. Remember that. Hey, what are you doing now? Racing night! Oh, my holy gods! Not going to lose to an old man, are you? An Egyptian community is now necessary. The grandpa. Do not disrespect your teacher. I used to run circles in the arena for hours. Pompey called me the Camel of Hermes. I would never tire. By a moon, you are not my. Wait, Pompey compared you to a camel. Hilarus Maximus, the Camel of Hermes. Hilarus, 
There must be something else you can do besides fighting. What else is there? I once fought an entire garrison. You ever do that? I doubled in it. We have got another fight to finish. This way. Oh, help, Ulysses! You are mine, Helen of Troy. <laughs> you can't yes, it is a brothel. Lesson, do not allow yourself to be distracted. Our last fight is inside. You are the challenger. I'm going to enjoy this. Come on, they are waiting. Bayek, catch your breath. This one is going to be tough. When you are ready, let me know. Oh, the not-so-mighty Hilarus. Come to claim lost glory. I see the rumors are true. You've got yourself a pet lion to hide behind. It won't matter. I will beat him for the money, then I will beat you for the pleasure. display how would you like something steady just look strong and take care of any trouble you will be well looked after unfortunately I am accounted for would you consider a genuine arena champion Hilarus here was a favorite of Pompey's you are a little old but you cut a good figure do you still have it in you do I madam I am Hilarus Youth is a state of mind. You will be more than satisfied if my charge releases me. Oh. Ah. Come then. We shall discuss the terms privately. Whom he will. I don't want you playing with him. The man beast lives there. Do you want to be cut in pieces? Now come away. Seni, forgive me. I overheard you just now. You said something about a man-beast. The man-beast has been taking people from here for months. People have gone missing. Have you told the Philakitae? The Philakitae are useless. Just last week, three fishermen disappeared. Bits of them floated in a few days later. They did nothing. Anyway, we know who it is. That raving old maniac over there. We're watching him. Things are often not what they appear. I should talk to this man-beast. My friend, could I speak with you? Do you know anything about the missing people? I am not your friend. Go away from here! So Beck eats with his mouth. He with the pointed teeth. Sopek eats while he mates. He rents whom he will. I will not get anything useful out of him. There is meat in the baskets for feeding the fish. Gods, that could be human. Hi. What is your name? This is my toy, Sobek. See? He carries his babies in his mouth. Father made it for me. That is a... a nice toy. Can you tell my friends to come back and play? Sobek didn't really eat the people in the river. It's just a game. It is rotting and waterlogged, a 
and hard to identify. It has come here from upstream. This place is a dark. Anything taken by the current ends up here. This place is a damn slaughter yard. But I cannot tell if the flesh is human. In all my years as a Magi, I have never seen anything like this. It is floating here from somewhere farther upstream. Blood in the water. Seems to be coming from that cave. By a moon, what is going on? of death. This must be where all the body parts are coming from. <coughs> so many corpses. All have eaten. Oh, the stench. Oh, who's there? Please, help me. Cushions and luxury. These look like seats for some kind of theater. Good wine and refreshments. Whoever sat here was well pampered. Cushions and luxury. These look like seats for some kind of theater. Thank the gods. Hurry! We have to leave before he comes back. Who? What is happening here? The embalmer. He's throwing people to crocodiles. His guests watch as they're ripped apart. Be calm. You are safe. Where is he now? Safe? No one is safe here. He kidnapped me at the market where I was selling fish. I'm getting out of here. I never imagined anyone could do something like this. I will find a way to the market. This embalmer has given his last show. So that the merciful will keep you and your children safe regardless of your offerings. He of the splashing waters wants your devotion first. If you make offerings, do it freely and without guilt. It is not 
Body set, my friend. I see you have retired the sword and returned to preaching. Bayek, welcome. Yes, there is a lot of work to do to regain the trust of the people. One by one, those loyal to Sehetep are being brought back to sanity. It is a slow process, but Sobek helps us. It is a worthy task. I know of no one better fit for it than you. Good luck, Seni. Sobek the Merciful will keep you and your children safe regardless of... Why are you hiding amongst these ruins? Amidjai, the gods show mercy at last. My name is Rai, and this is what's left of my family. Bandits chased us from our farms. We have nowhere else to go. We have nothing of value, yet they've pursued us for days across this wasteland. I've seen many bandits. They are cynical and callous. They killed so many. My father, my son. Those here are all who remain of our village. The bandits will come again to finish us. Stand with us, Mejai. Help us get vengeance at least. Vengeance is my creed. I will help you. Tell me your plan. There is a cliff not far from here. From there we'll be able to see the whole area and plan our defense. Let's go. This wasteland is perilous. If it's not bandits, it's hyenas or some other beast. Thank Ra, my father taught me how to use a bow. That is a nice weapon. It has an unusual make. When my father gave it to me, it was taller than me by three hands. Boys teased me without mercy. Now it's a sadness to me. It only reminds me of him. a symbol of horrors, but it is changed slightly. They look ancient. What is this place? You are fast along the rocks, Rai. I know these caverns. They are a natural temple. What is that necklace you wear? An old eagle skull. I hope it brings us luck. here for hours. Okay. Enough of the view. We have to plan. Wherever the bandits come from, my brothers will be ready for them in the ruins. I'll stay up here and keep watch. When they show, I'll give a signal. Then I'll attack from behind. I mean no disrespect, Rai. But you are not soldiers. These bandits are killers. Your farmer friends may not walk away from this fight. I know, Bayek. I'm scared out of my mind. If your family died in your arms, you would understand. I cannot walk away now. Believe me, I do understand. And I will fight with you. For now, I will head back to the others. You should hurry. It's a long way back down the mountain.
That is Horus, the Falcon, the Great Black One, God of the Sky. The Sun is his right eye, and the Moon is his left eye. Wherever he flies across the heavens, making night and day. The Eye of Horus is what the Magi wear? Yes, Remu. And the Pharaoh is Horus, right? Yes, my son. The Pharaoh is Horus in life and Osiris in death. That is why the Pharaoh rules not only Egypt, but the whole world. Only a true Pharaoh, though. What? You are no evil! Are you alright? That was crazy! But amazing! I thought the old Magi were all gone. You give me hope again. What were you, um... He said... Magi! You've returned! Yes. Your sister is staying on the cliff. She will signal when the bandits approach. These ruins are narrow. It could be worthwhile setting traps. Fire and oil, perhaps. Uh, do you have supplies? Fire? Uh, a fine idea. Yes, we do. They're nearby. Good. Head up to that roof and keep watch. I will join you soon. I could use the oil jars to set traps for the bandits. Either way, I should speak to Rai's brother again when I am ready. With you, we have a chance. These bandits are demons. But whether we live or die, I am thankful for your help. <coughs> Medjai, we cannot thank you enough for your help. You are sent from the gods. I was sure we were going to die. But now I have hope. <coughs> have a chance. These bandits are demons. But whether we live or die, I am thankful for your help. I thought the old Magi were all gone. You give me hope again. I am ready. 
Then we wait and pray. There they are! The bandits are here! Enjoy the aftermath! There are more of them out there, and they will return. They were after Father's bow. What? All this just for an old bow? Gods, why? It doesn't make sense. I would have given it to them. Maybe we still can. They would have killed you anyway. There is only one way to stop men like this. I have to hunt down their leader. I saw them come in from the southeast. They could be camping in the foothills nearby. And that is where I will begin my search. Vayek, before you go, please, take the bow. We'll be safer if you have it. It was damaged in the fighting, and it only brings me sadness now anyway. I'm sure it still has some power. You honor me, Rai. The bow is Egyptian, but older than anything I have seen. It is deceptively light, and the balance is perfect. Limbs are made partly of a strange black stone. It is familiar. I will look into it after I've dealt with this murderous leader. <laughs> 